Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. I apologize for the smile, but I have to tell you, when you look at this car, you can't do anything but smile. It is, it is everywhere you go. I've driven every car known to man virtually, but when I drive a car like this around town, everybody smiles, thumbs up and honks. They are just so iconic for cute, fast, and uh, uh, movie stars as well. So let's take a minute, we'll look around this car here. We purchased these in Italy, and the reason we buy them in Italy is because we ship them over with left-hand drive. If we brought the British versions over, they'd be right-hand drive, left-hand shift, and it gets a little bit confusing for some people, and this just makes it so much easier. These minis here in particular are restored. So we, uh, we built them with these custom interiors. We installed the tan interior with the green piping. In case you couldn't see that in the pictures, it looks so good. Uh, the John Cooper's work stripes are here, new paint, new chrome, new emblems and bumpers, all of the good stuff. This one in particular has uh, the cabriolet roof and its power as well, which is really cool. So anyway, let's take a minute. We'll take a look around the car. Some people don't know a lot about them. Some people do. We'll talk about some cars that are fuel injected, carbureted and what have you, and we'll rock from there. All right, so one of the things we do like to talk about here is the paint quality. And this is important because in paint quality, when you look at photos and things like that, Every car looks great online. What you really want to see is how crisp and clear every letter is when you're, when you're looking. And so that's why we like to go ahead and show that some paint is better than others. This for sure is way better than the original mini paint that was on here. Not to mention this is a British Open uh, Classic Edition. And so you get some great color combinations as well. So let's check that out. I always like to talk about the quality of paint. Like check this out. When you read this in the paint, so let's not look at the sign. Let's look in the paint and you see how clear every letter is. That gives you an indication of what kind of quality paint you're getting. Yes, the paint on this car is much nicer than it was from the factory when it was new, but that's exactly what you're looking for. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood. But before we do, look at this bug, man. This is so cute. Like, look at see that smile. This is what you get when you see uh, these coming down the road. People just love them. All right, so this version here uh, is a little different than uh, some of the other previous versions that we get. All right. And the simple fact of the matter is that this one is fuel injected, which is really nice. I've driven it home a couple times, driven on the highway. It's really an amazing car. Not to mention the packaging uh, is incredible here. Instead of having the radiator in front like typical cars and things like that, this has been twisted and moved to the side. So there's plenty of room to work on the car. It's called a Mini, but there's so much room even for these uh, mitts to get in here. Your plugs, if you want to do a little maintenance or what have you, you could do that too. But everything is easy to get to. Uh, especially brakes and what have you. We didn't talk about some of the safety stuff too. So for instance, this does have power disc brakes on it. And the brakes are really a lot larger for the car than the car actually needs. One of the reasons why people love them so much is because they handle well and they stop well too. I wanted to talk just a little bit about the back of the car. You're not gonna spend a lot of time back here, but I just wanna show you the packaging and detail stuff. Like for instance, like this gas cap. These are little detail things that make the car look great. So people will say uh, many times to me, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. And we look at the painted flares that are on here and the big wheels and tires and this cute little gas cap here, the Great Britain call out, right? All of those little things, the little touches are very nice. However, this car is also designed to be used. You could go away for the weekend in here, plenty of place for, to throw some soft luggage in there. Also has this factory spare. The battery has been moved to the back of the car. So a lot of the weight that would have been up front has been moved to the back here. It's all detailed, it's painted, it's all redone and just looks super, super nice, especially from behind. And it sounds really good too. All right, everybody, come join me inside here for a second because I have to tell you, the packaging of a Mini is amazing. So for instance, I'm 6'1", and look how much room is in here to wheel around. I got somebody's seat right here, whoever that might be, and when you drive them, I don't know how to explain it to you. They just go wherever you want. They're tiny, and they just, uh, it's unexplainable. Anyway, I want you to get in one, and we're gonna go for a drive just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The electric sunroof is super, super nice. What a nice feature to have. Uh, it's got a full array of gauges in here, not just idiot lights. It's got 180 kilometer hour uh, speedometer, which uh, Angie has told me is 111 miles an hour. So being this is our last video that we're doing with Angie here before she makes her next uh, trek, I just thought you should know that about her. Law Punk stereo in here, nice digital upgrade. This all custom interior here, even down to the custom mats that we had made that has a binding on the mats that match the, uh, the interior as well. Green piping on the seats to match the British green paint out there. And uh, anyway, you're getting a really, really nice uh, restored car. The fuel injection is great because it doesn't matter whether it's cold or hot outside. You just get in and it just fits you and off you go. All right, everybody, let's wrap this up real quick and uh, we'll get ready to go on the test drive next. 
there's not much you can talk about other than stare at this car because it is so great looking. The interior, the exterior, the convertible, the power top, the big wheels and tires, the painted flares. A lot of people ask and say all the time, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. We've kind of spent a few minutes looking at that. Now we're going to go for a drive. The drive is, is equally as fun as just staring at the car, and I'm really looking forward to this. Thanks for joining us on this video, and uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll uh, see you on the test drive.